guys, welcome back. So I've got a review and demo for you today on a new foundation. This is the Lancome Tintai Doll Ultra Wear Makeup Stick, and I got it in 210 Buff, which is the same shade that I wear the regular Tintai Doll liquid in. So it made it really easy. I just went with the same shade, and it totally worked. So that's really easy. Um, we're going to talk about the normal things that we do in my review videos. We'll talk about the pricing. We'll look at the packaging. I'll show you a demo. I'll talk about kind of the claims of this foundation, and then just give you my overall thoughts and impressions on it. So if you're new to my channel, my name's Leslie. Welcome. Hope you'll subscribe and stick around for a while. And yeah, if you want to hear my thoughts on this foundation, then let's get to it. So the price of this foundation is $42 and you get 0.31 ounces in here. So you really don't get a ton of product. So as far as cost on this foundation, it's definitely up there. It's a pricier one. Um, packaging, it just basically looks like your regular stick foundation. But what's kind of strange about mine is that it has a little sticker for the name instead of being printed on the container. Like the Lancome is printed on there, but then the like name of the foundation is a little sticker. But mine's from HSN, so maybe it was like an initial batch or something, and now they're printing them on there. Because for a $42 foundation, I would like it printed on the container. But, you know, it's your basic stick sort of foundation container. It's nice. I just wish it were printed on the actual thing. And then you can see here, this is how much foundation you're getting. Just like that. So, yeah. And then as far as the claims on this foundation, there are a lot. First off, it says it's a 24-hour wear, highly pigmented foundation stick that provides high coverage in a super gliding, weightless texture for a matte finish. Then it goes through a lot of other things, too. I'm reading from the Sephora website, in case you're curious. Um, but it says it is an extreme long-wearing formula that gives all skin tones a flawless complexion perfecting coverage all day. It is ultra lightweight powder cream kind of a texture. Um, it's supposed to give a second skin look. It's SPF 21, which, which is really nice. It contains porous polymers that absorb excess acne producing oils, leaving the skin looking mattified and pore and shine free. So that's really nice. Transfer resistant and smudge resistant, it's infused with Ambora extract, whatever that is, which helps to reduce the appearance of redness. I guess that's what it is. I guess it helps reduce redness. Making it suitable for all skin types, even sensitive skin. It's oil-free. It's a pigment-rich ma um, makeup stick. It can be used as a concealer, too. And it can also be used for custom contouring or highlighting. It's portable, good for on-the-go touch-ups type of things. So those are the claims there. I don't use this as a concealer, just a side note. I haven't been using it that way. I just have been using it as a foundation. But so far, I'm really liking it. So now we're going to get to the demo, and then I'll get to kind of my final thoughts and wrap up in a second. Okay, so I've already applied some moisturizer. The application on this foundation is so easy. I'm just going to take my stick and then just a kabuki brush. And all I do is I draw across my forehead and make a little like T like that. Then I do kind of like a little V across my cheek, across the other one, down my nose, across my chin, and then I'll usually put one little dot out on my cheeks because I have some kind of like sunspots discoloration out there. And then I'm just going to blend this out. I kind of like start from the middle of my face and then just blend it outwards. Okay, so there's one application right there. I think it is awesome. I mean, it's quick to apply. It covers really well. It's a very kind of like satin matte sort of finish. So it's very natural looking on the skin. I love the way it looks on the skin. Now you can see that one spot right there where I did try to kind of cover that. I am gonna put just a little bit more. So anywhere on my face that I feel like I need a little bit more coverage, I just go back in with the stick and do a little dot and then just blend that in. So it's really easy to get more product exactly where you want it. So that's pretty much it. That's how I apply it. So it's super, super easy. So now I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be back with more information. So as you probably saw from the demo, this is just so easy to use. It's really easy application. It blends into the skin so easily. It really does glide on. It looks really nice on the skin and I have found it to be super long wearing too. So as far as transfer resistant, smudge resistant, Controlling the oil, yes, I think it does all of those things. So I'm really loving this. 
The Estee Lauder Double Wear and the Tintai Doll, the regular liquid from Lancome, are two of my like go-to holy grail foundations. I love them. This one is a close third behind that, I think. Um, the only reason that I would maybe pick the liquid Tintai Doll over this one is the price. You just don't get very much product with this. So that's really the only negative that I have to say about this is it's just going to be a pricier product because it's up there in price in general and you just don't get a ton. So price on the liquid, it just will probably last longer. But also I feel like that one kind of becomes one with my skin just a little bit more than this one does, but this still looks really beautiful on the skin. It's just easy to use, looks gorgeous, wears really well throughout the day. It's just awesome. I love, love this foundation. All right, guys, so that wraps up my review and demo on the Lancome Tintai Doll Makeup Stick. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and hope it was helpful for you. Please give a thumbs up if it was, and let me know down below what you are thinking about this foundation, if you've tried it out, what are your thoughts and opinions on it. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.